Welcome back, fast food fanatics. The McRib sandwich is back, and we're here at McDonald's to try to see if we can get our hands on one. Let's just get right into it. And here we have it, the McRib sandwich. Let you guys get a look. See what's under the hood. So this is a very limited release thing from McDonald's. They haven't had this on the menu um, to any nationwide degree since 2012. They've done limited releases since then, but never a nationwide rollout. A lot of times these sandwiches have to stay limited because of that reason. It's kind of like how they are with the shamrock shake. People either love it or they hate it. Either way, enough of me talking about it. Let's just see whether or not it tastes like I remember it tastes or if nostalgia gets the best of me. First bite. This pretty much for the most part tastes like I remember it. It's got a good barbecue sauce on it. As far as I guess fast food barbecue sauce is concerned, I know that they use peach in this, which is one of the reasons why it's such a limited thing. They kind of can't keep up with the demand that they would need for the peach and the barbecue sauce. And also they have a huge drop off in sales after like the first month or two of this being released. The patty itself is pretty tender. It's not overly rubbery and stuff, which I know these can be when they're overcooked. You get the onions and the pickles on there, which kind of help cut through some of the sweetness of the barbecue sauce. And then they have, you know, kind of an attempt at like a, a seeded bun. Do I think that this could be better? There's tons of things that they could do to kind of make this better. But I think that there's a certain level of nostalgia with something like this that McDonald's is kind of like, if it's not broke, don't fix it. They're not going to adjust this. They're just going to keep rolling this out again and again and again uh, for all the people that are, you know, the big lovers and supporters of this sandwich. Everybody else, do I think you could probably pass on it? Yeah. Uh, if you've never had one, I definitely would say it's worth a try. It's a it's a tasty enough sandwich, but I don't think you have to go out of your way to get it. I think you'd be better off getting something like their holiday pie if it's in your region. It's kind of like a regional release. That about finishes it up for us here at Fast Food Face Off. I'll catch you guys on the next one.